Likewise, mm, suppose that there's a mistake that happens. So if you see that, if I see that, yes, the mistake has happened due to such and such reason, which is obviously that the mind is wandering somewhere else. Likewise, mm, putting the spoon properly or um, picking a cup, and if somebody, something falls, it's because of the fact that your mind is running forward, that what is the next thing, not really being there when the action is really happening, real time. So every time this happens, so the first thought that occurs is that uh, don't rush, don't rush. There is nothing, you are just extending the work because once it falls, you are picking it up. So time is being wasted. But it never does happen. Either it is running or yes, it is just running. And uh, a lot of simple, simple, minute mistakes happen every now and then, pumping my finger here and there, or maybe not really having a firm grip over things or stumbling or tumbling or not having that uh, um, maybe to cut out a cumber just to this this small action is um, settled so this is the situation I don't know because again I have listened to you so I know that how to's would not even solve the problem, it's the same mind and everything because essentially it looks good but I don't know what really lies forward because this is happening over and over again. When the right intent will be there in all its power, then these things will not happen because these things are not natural. These are not your inner order. These things happen only when an external agency is sitting on your head powers them to happen. Otherwise they cannot happen. When it will be really your desire to not to let these happen, they cannot happen. When they are happening, you must know that you are supporting the happening. Maybe in a hidden way, maybe behind your own back. Behind my own back. And how does how does that can be stopped? Because if by not doing that, <laughs> but that that is that is what that is the intention every time that that is the intention post the event. That is the intention after the event has happened. But as I wake up in the morning, and uh, morning has come up, now I have other things to do. And then suddenly, like, the intention is in the mind. That is the intention before the event. You have intentions before the event and after the event. What about in the event? Then you have other intentions. To rush through the event. Of course. To rush, to consume to revel in fantasy, to swim about in the future, talk of those things. They are the things that are important. Your fantasies, your, your, your great ideas about how life should be, your concept of what a good life is like. That's what dominates your mind yes uh, the concept really dominates and uh, part of it is that uh, a life would be wasted if the life of the whole of life is spent working and uh, as for the situation as of now is that the work is a lot so there is always this resistance that let's just find some time out so how how do i really get drop around? this concept but the dropping is Apparently, it's been a lot of time. Do you want to drop it? As of now, I don't think. And then why are you asking this question? Because it is obviously causing me suffering. But still, you don't want to drop it? Because it, there is fear. 
because there is temptation temptation of you, you have a temptation that if you drop it you may not get it and also that by the end of the life it will be like oh, oh my god i wasted your time so don't waste it keep holding to it but if i hold it then there is suffering then decide but decision really doesn't power the whole thing because it the, does the, the, the if it is, is a obvious. decision you haven't even formally decided But the decision is very obvious that the situation I mean no 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 it is not about deciding with respect to this situation it is deciding that the concept that you hold as the good life is a rubbish concept it is about deciding that and that you don't even decide in theory let alone in practice that is something that you hold very very dear to your mind you you hold to it with, with your clenched fist you say that is the good life that i want not even in your dreams do you want to drop that dream <laughs> yes as long as you think that it is a very worthy dream you will be dreaming that's what you do dream directly see and acknowledge that what you think of life is all rubbish what you think of as the good life what you think of as a wasted life all these are useless concepts once you have seen that then your mind will not rush to that dreamland that la la land so again can you like this is that seen right now that actually that what i call uh, a good life is actually not something that i want to question because yes, but how i think i'll just stay short yes yes try what you say 